parents today we're talking about an interesting concept actually i think everything when it comes to talking about our children and raising successful digital citizens is interesting but today we're talking about something that all parents need to pause and get a little bit of insight into how your children feel so we're talking about how they feel about your parenting and what they would really like you to know now everybody has a blind spot what does that mean you see what you see and sometimes you miss those things you don't see those things you don't realize about yourself and those things that are actually there like the little foxes that um, if you don't take care of them they might hinder some of the things that you're actually trying to do or hinder some of the results that you're trying to achieve so I really think it's critical that as parents we ask our children for feedback you know in an office when you're doing uh, when you're working you're going to have 360 degree review you're going to have yearly assessments with your HR manager, with your boss. You're going to review your work. You're going to identify the areas you're doing well, the areas that need some work, where you need training, things like that. Because without that, you won't know what needs improvement and you won't know what you're doing well that you should continue to do. It's the same thing with parenting. The only people you're parenting are your children. They are the ones that are a result. They are the result beneficiaries of your parenting style whether it's good it's bad it needs work it's intentional it's whatever it is the gaps your children are the only ones that can give you that feedback so it's important that we get used to asking them for their feedback what do they think what do they want so i'm going to share with you some of the feedback that we've gotten across the board you know um what some children want their parents to know the first thing is they would like you to know that they are still learning. They don't have all the answers. So when you get irritated and angry and lose your temper at them, it hurts because they are still learning. And they are learning because they are children. So they don't know everything. And let's be honest, even you as parents, you don't necessarily do everything you should be doing. We're all work in progress. So they would like you to understand that and be a little more patient with them. Of course, there's sometimes they're just not because they continue to do the same things you've talked about they shouldn't do but then when you're disciplining and you find that you're talking about the same thing consistently it might be worth you as a parent to ask yourself why is this lesson or this message not sticking why is this child continuing to do the same thing that we have talked about that he or she should stop doing so sometimes you'll find that there's something you need to tweak maybe you need to tweak what you ask them to do or maybe you've only focused so much on telling them what not to do you haven't helped them with figuring out what the right steps are or what the right things they need to install put in place should be so that they can achieve the particular um action you want so it doesn't sound have to be so complicated but honestly ask yourself are you shouting and reacting about the same thing consistently why is it not working and why is your child continuing to do what they shouldn't do so your children want you to know that they're learning and because they're learning you need to be patient to teach them the second thing they want you to know is when it comes to this digital world don't always come with a sense of suspicion too many parents show up and say what are you doing you're on this thing again you've been on the computer all day what exactly are you doing don't come with judgment don't they don't want you to do that they're not always doing something bad sometimes they're learning so i'm going to give you a practical example this morning i saw my son on his computer and i walked up and i said what are you doing and he was on khan academy he was learning a math concept and i was like oh really why he said yes i know you always think i'm doing something bad online and i said but i didn't say that i just wanted to know why you are on khan academy and he said yes this is a concept he needs some help with so he decided to come and watch videos teaching him about that particular concept in math and you know, I just paused and I said, imagine if I was a mom who showed up and the first thing I did was to shout, first thing on Saturday morning and you're on your computer. He was actually learning. So it's really important that when we're engaging them because we see them behind screens, we don't come with judgment first. Let's ask, oh, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? What are you watching? Then if you feel that they shouldn't be on for whatever reason, or you feel there's something else to do, then have that conversation. But don't always show up first with the idea that they are doing something bad or they've been on for too long or always come with judgment and always come with telling them off and always coming with suspicion that hmm, you're on screens again. They don't like that. Okay. They want you to realize that there are other things that they do. And also they want you to know that because they were raised digitally, raised in a world where digital devices are everything they know, they need your help. They actually need your help to teach them what to do when they're not online. So don't assume you should know you should go and pick a book you should you should 
Should doesn't solve any problems. Should is just a suggestion. So those are just two things I want to share with you. They want you to know that they are learning. So be patient with them. And secondly, when it comes to screen times, don't always suspect them. Sometimes they're on there for the right reasons and you don't always want to be suspicious or start with judgment when you show up.